Um, I'm sure they're going to give us, tell us a few great stories. Thanks for being here. We love you. We don't brew beer for the masses. Instead, our beers are crafted for a chosen few, a small cadre of renegades and rebels who enjoy beer that pushes the limits of what is commonly accepted as taste. In short, we brew beer for people like us. Founders, brewed for us. Home brewers, beer enthusiasts. We are all one of the same. I feel that home brewers drive the craft beer industry. A lot of our ideas come from things that they've been able to try on a much smaller scale that we wouldn't necessarily want to try first. They can also be your toughest critics too, because they uh, uh, also study and have that same passion for beer. We all owe a, a, a lot of gratitude towards the home brewers because they've they've kept the appetite um, for variety, for choice, for new things. One of the reasons Grand Rapids in Michigan has a great craft beer culture is the fact that we had a great craft uh, homebrew community uh, going back to the 70s, basically. So. As everybody knows, a lot of the professional brewers today started out home brewing. Grand Rapids has produced, you know, quite a few head brewers here in the area. They might have worked in Sicilianos, they might have uh, got started in the, the garage like me. I started home brewing, basically starting with two can slams and some hops and uh, a five gallon soup kettle. And, uh, you know, we made some beers that were pretty good, and we made some others that we drank. Homebrewers definitely <laughs> speak the same language that both gets along, and, and it, it transcends right into professional brewing. We, we approach uh, coming up with new beers and uh, beer styles and recipes and flavor combinations the same way that a home brewer does. We have to create techniques and processes and equipment to accomplish these things on a larger, more commercial scale. The coolest part of my job is, is inventing new beers and experimenting like that, and that's, that's what homebrewers get to do all the time. When they switch over to professional brewing, it's kind of a, a whole different standard. We do have product liability where you, a home brewer doesn't necessarily, but your neighbor's gonna not like you if you uh, give him the shits. <laughs> throwing away five gallons is all right, you know, throwing away 5,000 gallons is, is very problematic. The obstacles are more of the starting a business when you're at different stages of your life. If you got a family, you got a, a job, it's hard to put that all aside and just say, I'm gonna risk it all. But uh, if you have the passion, you'll figure it out. A home brewer is an adventurer. I come from all walks of life, you know, baby. Rebellious and intense, relentless, likes to party, creative <laughs> and passionate people. Somebody who is doing something that they love and is passionate about. I say this with love, uh, but they're very cheap. <laughs> they don't want to spend any money on to cobble materials together to make their home brew system. Opinionated, they're inspiring, um, they keep things fresh, and, uh, and they're the lifeblood of, of the craft beer movement. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, Push the boundaries for us and uh, keep telling the story of uh, great craft brewers as well to all your friends. Here's the beer. Cheers. 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 Um, really were responsible for creating this industry. Um, they got started chasing their dream and didn't realize it, but eventually they created this whole craft beer movement. It's an industry that, you know, by the 90s became so powerful that we saw a complete, you know, paradigm shift in the in the way beer was looked at. And um, 